Ready Jet Go, is a preschool CGI animated television series produced by Wind Dancer Films. The series premiered on PBS Kids on February 15, 2016. It was created by animator and Hey Arnold, creator Craig Bartlett, and is produced in cooperation with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The show is aimed at kids ages 3 to 8. On August 17, 2016, PBS Kids announced the renewal of the series for a second season, which premiered on April 2, 2018. Topic. Plot Jet Propulsion and his family are from the fictional planet Bortron 7 which orbits around a red dwarf called Bortron. They live at Boxwood Terrace in Washington, where they study human customs and Earth environments for a travel guide. Jet has made friends with neighborhood kids, including Sydney, Mindy, and Sean, whose parents work at the nearby Deep Space Array. The propulsion's car turns into a flying saucer, which they frequently use to take the older kids into space. Their alien identities are known to Sean, Mindy, and Sydney, but they otherwise make some effort to conceal their origin. As of early June 2016, it's unclear whether anyone else knows who they really are. At the end of each episode, scientist Amy Meinzer, also called Astronomer Amy, hosts educational interstitial segments. The segments are not included in the export version. Topic: <laughs> Episodes. Topic Characters Topic Main Topic Bortronians Jet Propulsion voiced by Ashley Ball is the title character of the show and is a humanoid alien. He has red hair and can stretch his body, as his parents can. He is excitable, energetic, and goofy. He is tall for his age. Jet is 63 years old in Bortronian years, as revealed in Earth Day Birthday. He was instantly popular with the other children the moment he arrived on Earth. He sees the mundane world as a vast and exciting place, and even thinks that words are exciting, such as surprise claiming it to be a funny earth word. He is named after the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He is shown to be extremely kind, even to people who are mean to him, such as Mitchell. He possibly likes Sydney, because he danced with her in How Come the Moon Changes Shape, and is shown to possibly like Sean in Back to Bortron 7. Carrot Propulsion, voiced by Kyle Rideout, is Jet's father. His name from his home planet includes the sound of an elephant trumpeting. He tends to be goofy, like Jet. He often stays home while Celery takes the kids on adventures into outer space, as he doesn't really like going in the flying saucer. Carrot often cooks wacky dishes such as deep-fried lollipops. Celery Propulsion, voiced by Meg Rowe, is Jet's mother. Celery is smart and often takes the kids to space. Her name from her home planet includes the sounds of banging, buzzing, and clanging. She normally drives the family vehicle, as Carrot's driving makes her nervous. She likes racing against her brother, Zucchini. Sunspot Propulsion is the Propulsion family pet. He is described as a dog or cat to Earthies, not in the know. Sunspot has the ears of a rabbit, the body of a kangaroo, and the tail of a raccoon or a fox. He plays concertina, electric guitar, bugle, pan pipes, and drums. Sunspot is silly and likes to play. His status as a mere pet may be somewhat of a put-on. He knows how to read, can talk and sing, and can follow conversations, but often seems confused about what behaviors are expected from a pet. He often functions as a deus ex machina, figuring out what is going on and what needs to be done and then conveying that information to one or more of the children. K. 
Carrot and Jet both realize there's more to Sunspot than the obvious, as evidenced by a conversation in The Greatest Canyon. Carrot. You ever get the idea there's something he's not telling us? Jet. All the time, Dad. All the time. Face 9000 voiced by Brian Drummond is a computer. He is a cyan face with blue facial features projected from a small, round ball. He has a younger brother, Face 9001. Face 9000 knows everything about science, and often pops up to answer the kids' science questions. In Face on the Fritz, he gets an upgrade. He has a tendency to get jealous easily. Topic. Earthlings Sidney Skelly voiced by Delilah Bella season 1, Vienna Leacock in Back to Bortron 7 season 2 is a girl with black hair and green eyes. She idolizes a character named Commander Cressida, named after the moon of Uranus, who has a dog named Sirius, named after the brightest star in Earth's night sky. Sydney is imaginative and very friendly, often acting as the voice of reason for the kids. In How Come the Moon Changes Shape, she danced with Jet. In Kid Cart Derby, she hugged him. Her mother is Dr. Amy Skelly. Sydney's motto is, A kid's place is exploring space. Her friendship with the Propulsion family gives her many opportunities to do just that, which makes her a happy girl. Sean Rafferty, voiced by William Ainscoff, seasons one to two. Grady Ainscoff, I in the Sky Present, is a boy with light brown hair, gray eyes, and freckles. Sean probably has asthma. He is shown breathing into a brown paper bag in Jet Cooks Dinner, and he mentions once when the children are in space that sometimes he has trouble breathing. He is smart and wants to be an astronaut when he grows up, but he has slight claustrophobia. Sean likes to follow the scientific method, as shown in many episodes, he even has his own song about it. His mother is Dr. Rafferty. Sean idolizes Neil Armstrong. Mindy Melendez voiced by Jada Lily Miller is a four-and-a-quarter-year-old girl she was previously four, but turned five in episode. Mindy turns five, with brown eyes, dark brown hair in two ponytails, and a hat that looks like a teddy bear face. Until recently she stayed on Earth when the others go into outer space, she was not allowed to go any further than Jet's backyard. She is now allowed to travel past Jet's backyard, as she is now five, so she now accompanies the others as they travel into space. Mindy is the most normal, average, and bland of the main cast. Topic: Supporting. Topic: Bortronians. Zucchini, voiced by Ian James Corlett, is Jet's maternal uncle and Celery's brother. He is a garbage collector on Bortron and works for the East Galaxy Garbage Company, Bortron 7 Division, using the big Bortronian junk sucker, BBJS. He is very kind to the kids, but also dimwitted at times. Moonbeam is the pet of Uncle Zucchini. She looks similar to Sunspot, but Moonbeam is blue and plays electric guitar, left-handed. Eggplant, voiced by Tabitha St. Germain, is Jet's aunt, Zucchini's wife, and Zerk's mom. She is an intergalactic travel writer just like Carrot and Celery. Zerk, voiced by Meg Rowe, is Jet's cousin. He calls Jet to ask when the first Earthy visited Bortron. He visits Earth in Zerk visits Earth. Zerk is very energetic and hyperactive. In Whole Lotta Shaken and Asteroid Belt Space Race. He is shown to be very competitive. Spinach is Celery's cousin. Celery calls him when the van, flying saucer is not working and she needs advice. Topic. Earthlings 
Mitchell Peterson, voiced by Spencer Drever, Season 1, David Reynolds, Season 2, looks similar to Sean except that he wears glasses and a hat. Along with Mindy, he is younger than Jet, Sean, and Sydney. For his age, he appears to be smarter than Mindy, even knowing about and building an exact replica of the Saturn V rocket. Mitchell has a tendency to be sarcastic and sometimes blunt. He always wants to expose Jet's alien identity but inevitably fails. Nonetheless, Jet is nice to him. In Holidays in Boxwood Terrace, it is revealed that he only pretends to be mean and he is really shy and wants to be friends with Jet, Sean, Sidney, and Mindy, but he doesn't know how to do it. In the end, the kids welcome him into their group. His grandfather was a farmer, which he mentions in Eye in the Sky. Mr. Peterson is Mitchell's dad voiced by Ian James Corlett and addresses other people by their last names, calling Mitchell Peterson and using propulsion to refer to Jet and Carrot. In the episode, Mindy's Weather Report, he calls himself the self-appointed safety officer for the neighborhood. He, like his son, can be a bit full of himself. He is an expert at playing mini-golf. He is also a big soccer fan. Dr. Rafferty, voiced by Keegan Connor Tracy, is Sean's scientist mother. She and her co-worker Berg appear in Visit to Mom's Office. She helps Mindy identify a meteorite in Mindy's Meteorite Stand. Dr. Rafferty is patient, smart, and loving. In Visit to Mom's Office, she mentions that she felt like an alien when she was a kid. Dr. Berg, voiced by Brian Drummond, is a man who works with Dr. Rafferty. They later appear as judges for the baking competition. Dr. Berg can be rather silly at times. He loves drinking coffee and always has it in his hand. Sunspot always steals his watch. Dr. Melendez, voiced by Meg Rowe, is Mindy's mother. She is heard calling to Mindy in More Than One Moon. Riley is a kid in Sean, Sydney, and Mindy's school. He brought in his favorite snow globe for show and tell. He is not shown. Lillian, voiced by Amelia Shoichet Stoll, is a friend of Mindy's. The two girls dig a small, Grand Canyon, in a sandbox while the Propulsions and the other children visit Valles Marineris on Mars. Lillian is a girly girl but isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. She can be quite forgetful, seeing as how she told Mindy what her surprise present was. Lillian's mom, voiced by Ashley Ball, is heard in Mindy Turns Five when she calls Lillian because she has to go to class. Beep is a robot who lives at the Deep Space Array, DSA. She has a twin sister, Boop, who is a rover on Mars. Dr. Skelly, voiced by Brenda Cricklow, is Sydney's mom, who also works at the DSA. Like her daughter, she is also a fan of Commander Cressida. She is a robotics engineer. Topic. Songs Ready Jet Go, has many songs, some have no lyrics. The bottom ones do not have lyrics. Ready, Jet, Go. Theme song Commander Cressida theme How Come the Moon Has Craters? Night of a Bazillion Stars The Scientific Method Song The Solar System Song Venus, Earth's Broiling Hot Twin Tiny Blue Dot Intergalactic Travel Riders The Milky Way What Goes Up Must Come Down Enceladus vs. Europa Computers Let's fly our little saucer to the moon. The three-part Bortronian meal. My name is Mindy. Try again. Beeps a Rovin superstar. Cooking with Jet, no lyrics. Asteroid belt, no lyrics. Building boogie, no lyrics. Real Bortronian deal. Bortronian is what I am. 
My name is Jet. Lone Star. I'm not afraid of big ideas. A scientific town. Is your planet like my planet? Take off Diddy. There's no planet like my planet. The Bortron Solar System song. That's how we roll on Bortron 7. Just add water. It's a Neptune kind of day. Earth Day birthday. You're never too big for a lullaby. Dear Santa, from Little Billy. Mindy's toy building Diddy. Solar System Saucer Slay. The Spirit of Christmas. Dear Little Frozen Pluto. A star is born. I'm finally five. The Outer Planets Song. Ice skating in July. Heliocentric Diddy. Total Eclipse of the Sun. Space Racin. Grow Plant, Grow. Engineering Song. Potatoes on Mars Medley. Every day is Earth Day. Topic. Reception. Topic. Ratings. The series has gained 22 million viewers, according to PBS, including 7.6 million on broadcast television. The series has also been streamed over 37 million times on the PBS Kids website and app. Topic. Critical reception Emily Ashby of Common Sense Media rated it a five-fifths, saying, "...thoroughly engaging and packed with educational content, this exceptional series is a fun way for kids to learn about science and astronomy. Jet's excitement for the human experience is matched only by Sean and Sydney's eagerness to learn all about outer space, put the three of them together, and it's a true celebration of the joy of discovery." Whether it's executing a rescue mission for a Mars rover or combining daily chores with experiments in force, Jet and his friends have a lot to teach kids through their own experiences. Gina Catanzaride of Parents' Choice said although the vocabulary and science explanations may be beyond the scope of the youngest viewers, the premise, characters, interesting art direction and upbeat action should hold their attention. Older kids are more likely to grasp the facts and even if they don't remember them all, Ready Jet Go, will at the very least inspire curiosity, and plenty of questions when they take the time to gaze up at the skies above them. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations The series was awarded a Parents' Choice Silver Honor. The series won a Parents' Choice Award again in 2018. The series was awarded a Common Sense Seal by Common Sense Media. Jada Lily Miller was nominated for a Young Artist Award for her performance as Mindy. Topic: Games. PBS and Two Moose created eight online games based on the show. Sydney's Astro Tracker, Mindy's Constellation Exploration, Sean's Rescue Quest, Jet's Planet Pinball, Jet's Rocket Ship Creator, Mission Earth, Mindy's Moonball, Jet Spot Builder. Also on iTunes. Space Explorer released the 7th of April 2016. Topic: <inaudible> Parodies and spoofs, usage with other shows. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Usage with other shows. In Mindy's Weather Report. 
15B, An Image for Dinosaur Train, another PBS Kids series and also created by Bartlett, can be seen when Sunspot flips over the channels on face. A second of the theme song can be heard. Topic. Parodies and spoofs In the same aforementioned episode, The Real House Pets of Bortron 7, a spoof of The Real Housewives is on the channel Sunspot Finds on the TV on Face 9000. <laughs> <laughs> 